Hello everybody, thanks for joining. This is Mike Taylor, Mike Taylor Photo Arts. In this quick little video, I'm gonna show you how I go about using the dodge and burn on a separate layer to deal with images that need a little, little love. So first, I'm going to start with this image here and I'm gonna end up with something like this. But this image here, being the final, has a lot more than just dodge and burn, as you can probably guess. But we're just gonna deal with dodge and burn right now. So first thing I have, my image and what I want to do is I want to be able to do my dodge and burn on a separate layer so that I can change it if I want to with little difficulty so I come down to my bottom here and there's a little plus symbol so I just click on that that gives me a new layer as you can see and you can label that dodge and burn if you want to D B that'll do and then now that I have that new layer I need to change the contents of that layer to 50% gray. So I came to image, come down to fill, and I make sure that my content says 15% gray, 50, 50, and then hit OK. Everything else in here is as you see it. Now, all you see is a 50% gray layer. I have to change that so it'll affect my image below. So I come over to my blend modes and go from normal to overlay. So with overlay, it'll, the dodge and burn will affect the layer below, but I can change it if I want to very easily. So right now it's very dark, so I want to make it brighter. So I'm going to dodge it. I'm going to increase the brightness of certain areas of this glove. So I come over to here. This is my dodge. Dodge tool. Burn tool. Sponge tool. So I'm going to use the dodge tool. And I'll make it a little bit larger. And if we go up to the top, you can see I'm using the mid-tones only and the exposure is very low. It's about 4% in this case. You can go lower if you want to. But 4% is a good comfortable level for me. Make my tool a little bit larger. And I'm just going to dodge this one section of this glove. It may not look like much, but it is actually making a change as I go back and forth. Now if I go over to the tool here, sorry, over to the layer here and turn it off watching the glove as you can see it has brightened it up considerably if i wanted to i can make another layer and do the exact same thing but for a different section fill uh 50 percent gray then come over here again to the blend layer and change that to overlay and perhaps I will change this to DB2, uh, for example, or whatever you find is appropriate for your certain case. And then let's do this one. I'm just going to dodge this section of the glove. And I come back over here to my layers panel, turn this off, and as you can see, that is brighter than it was. And you can do this as many times as you want. Something that's also interesting over here, since you have a separate layer for that effect, you can change the opacity. As you can see, it's 100%. I can drop it down to whatever I want, and that changes the amount of the effect that I've applied to that layer. So still looking on this layer here, let's dodge it a little bit more. Off and on. So it's a very handy tool, a very handy technique for working on certain areas of your image using separate layers. And as you, as you finish your project and do everything you want, you just do this. You will do that. So what I've done is I've clicked on the bottom layer, then I clicked on the top while I'm holding down my shift button. And then I hit Command E. And that squishes it all down. That is done. Now, if I haven't gone too far, I can Command Z or Command Z and undo that. Now I'm back to where I was. So there you have it. My quick method for using Dodge and Burn to retouch certain images using separate layers. This is Mike Taylor at Mike Taylor Photo Arts. 
Thank you very much. Please subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Drop back again soon, and I'll have some more videos for interesting little techniques. Thank you. Have a great day.